Well, three and a half years ago, we had um, a big change in our lives. Bill uh, started experiencing shortness of breath, uh, just doing normal things that he always did. And so uh, we went to the hospital, or the doctor, and found out that he had fluid on his lungs. Dr. Chapel, uh, a thoracic surgeon in Sherman, uh, put him in the hospital and drained that, um, that fluid off of his lungs. She came to me after the surgery was finished and told me that she uh, was pretty sure that he had mesothelioma uh, in the lining of his right lung. That was just um, the last thing that we wanted or expected to hear. He had been tested several years ago, many years ago, uh, by the employer, Johns Manville, for uh, signs of mesothelioma. And he and one other man uh, were the only ones that did not show any signs of having uh, the possibility of this happening. So we kind of were in a false sense of security just because of that. Uh, we're very familiar with that disease. Uh, it's pretty much a death sentence and it's uh, a terrible uh, disease to live with. He's had many friends and co-workers through the years that uh, have died of mesothelioma and he's seen the, the, uh, the suffering that it brings. Uh, I was just devastated so I just prayed and prayed and prayed. And while I was praying, um, one of those many prayers, the scripture, James 5.14, kept coming to my mind. If is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. So I called uh, Kevin Dale, who's our assigned uh, elder and talked with him. He said he would uh, uh, get the elders together and uh, would come up and pray over me. And uh, so he, he came the next day or the next night and uh, brought with him George Hatfield, David Howerton, and Blake Smith. And they came to the hospital room and uh, they gathered around me and Linda and uh, they began to pray over me anointing me with oil, and uh, I was overcome with uh, all the peace and emotion that uh, that uh, that happened. I felt God was right there among us, and uh, it was an unforgettable feeling and experience for me that I had never had anything like that. And I believed uh, God honored our prayers, and uh, our faith is authority over my life. <clears throat> I know that someday that I will die from it, more than likely, but uh, in the meantime, I thank, thank God for every day that I feel good and uh, feel that that cancer has not grown. So uh, most of all, I thank Him for uh, it has made me be drawn closer to Him. Now, Bill, as we said, he still has me something Helma, and he will always have it. Uh, in the three years that have passed, he goes for regular infusions of immunotherapy uh, at Dr. Isan's office. Dr. Isan is a Christian, and he told us that he prays over his patients. And um, he has been just amazed at Bill's response to this immunotherapy. Uh, he said it, he's just never seen it happened this way before and the three of us give all of the credit all of the glory to God because we know that that it's him that's doing this